Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to play a game on everyday math. It's called Division Arrays. So to get signed into the game, you have to first log into everyday math. And when you do, you'll see this home screen. Then at the bottom, you'll see the bluish purplish button that says EM Games Online. You're going to click on that. When you click on that, it will pull up your everyday math games, which looks like this screen right here. And you can see I'm in the third grade tab. And right here in the middle, it says Division Arrays. That is the game that we are going to be playing. So you'll click on it. And then it'll take you to this next screen. You'll have to click on it again. And then it gives you the directions and kind of a sample picture of what the game is going to look like here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to play Division Arrays for you and you're going to watch and see what I'm doing so that when it's your turn, you will know how to play and you'll be able to do well and hopefully beat the computer. Please note that when you first start the game, there will be somebody speaking the directions to you. So we'll just listen to his directions um, in order to learn how to play the game. So here we go. I guess before we have to start the game, we need to pick our color. My favorite color is green, so I'm going to go with green. I also like orange, so we'll have the computer be orange. It's time to play Division Arrays. Let's go. Click the deck to get a number card. Okay, so he told me to click the deck to get a number card. This is the total number of counters in your array. Click the die to get a number one through six. Okay, so it looks like I get six counters for this turn, and then I'm going to click my die to get a number. This is the number of equal size rows in your array. Drag counters to your workspace to make your array. Use all the counters if you can. If you have extra counters, you can drag them to an empty part of your workspace. When you're done, use the keypad to enter the number of counters in one row of your array. Okay, so I know that I'm supposed to have four rows and I only have six counters to play with on this round. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my four rows. So I'm going to drag my counters so that I have started four rows. Remember, rows go across. Okay, so here, this would be row one, row two, row three, and row four. Now I still, I know that I have six counters, so that means I still have two more counters. Do I have enough counters to make, put another one in each row? No, I don't. So I'm gonna drag my two extra counters over here, just in the middle of nowhere. And then it says to enter the number of counters in one row, in this box here. So it looks like, unfortunately, this one, I only have one counter in a row. So my answer would be one, and I would click OK. Great job. Now it's the computer's turn. All right, so remember we click the deck to get how many counters we have. So we're gonna have 18 counters, then we click the die to see how many rows we'll have. All right, so we're gonna have row five rows. So I'm going to start my five rows, three, four, and five. So remember again, rows go across, and I've started all five rows. Now I have 18 counters. Do I have enough to put another counter in each row? Yes, I do. So I'm going to put a second one in each row. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I have enough to put three counters in each row. Now I know if I count by fives, I have five, 10, 15 counters used, which means I only have three more counters left. So I know that I don't have enough counters to put another one in each row. So I'm going to take my leftover counters and put them over in my workspace, okay? So there we go. Then remember, 
our answer is how many counters are in one row. So let's look at our first row here, our top row. How many counters are in that row? One, two, three. So my answer is going to be three. Now you may be wondering how the computer is beating me so bad, and let me tell you a little secret. So if you have, if you use all your counters equally in an array and don't have any extra left over, you get double the points. So the computer right there just had an eight card and had a one row. So he had a row of eight, which means he got 16 points just for that one round. Whereas I have always had extra counters left over, so I haven't gotten to double my points at all. That's why I only have four and he has 26. But it looks like we still have three more rounds to play. So I'm gonna click on my card and click on the die. And it looks like I have four rows and 18 again. So I'm gonna start my four rows. There's four rows. I know that's only four counters, so I have enough to keep going. That's eight counters. So I'm gonna keep putting them in rows. There's 12 counters, another one in each row. There's 16 counters. Now that's 16 is really close to 18. In fact, it's two away. So I know that I only have two extra, which isn't enough to make another one in each row. So I'm gonna have to stop. Um, and again, I have extras left over, which means I'll just get my number and I won't get to double my points. So I have one, two, three, four. Four counters in each row. So my answer is four and I will now have eight points. So again, the computer didn't have any left over, so the computer will get to double their points. They get to double the six that they had in a row, so they got 12 points right there. Okay, my next card is seven, and I have two rows. So I'm gonna start my two rows and keep adding until I run out. There's six, I have one, one counter left, so I'm just gonna put it over here in my empty space. And then we count how many's in each row. So we look at our top row right here. There's one, two, three. So my answer will be three. I think the computer's getting really lucky and not having any counters left over. Hopefully when you get to play, you'll have better luck than I am having right now. All right, so we have 12 and a four. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna start my four rows. Okay, here's my four rows. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to keep adding one to each row. There's eight, and I know I can go again. There's 12. So I've used all of my counters, and this time I don't have any left over. So I'm going to get double my points here. So one, two, three, there's three in each row. So my answer is three, and they're gonna give me six points for it. You earn double points for using all the counters. And again, it looks like the computer didn't have any left over. Wow, that was a whole game and they always worked out perfectly. That's they can the make end. perfect the arrays. arrays. Here's how many points the winner earned. Play again soon. So the computer got 60 points and I only had 17. So I didn't do very well when I played my game of division arrays as far as earning points. I did it well because I played the game correctly, which is what we're looking for as your teachers. We want you to just play the game correctly. We don't really care if you win or lose. Um, of course, winning always makes it just a little bit better. But 
I obviously, I still had fun, and I know that I played well because I got all of my answers correct, so I feel good about myself, even if I lost pretty badly. So just a few tips to remember before you go and play yourself. Um, the number card that you're going to draw, that's how many counters you have. And the die that you're going to click on, that's how many rows you will have. Remember, rows go across. So I like to start my rows first so that I can know if I'm going to have enough counters to fill all of those. When you get better at the game, you'll know when you see like that last one, I knew when I had that 12 card and I drew a four, I knew that I wasn't going to have any counters left over because I knew that four goes into 12 three times. So I knew my answer was going to be three even before I put it on the board. But I wanted to show you what it looked like so that you would know how to play when it's your turn. Okay, and that is how you play Division Arrays. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, and now it's your turn to go into everyday math and play some Division Arrays against the computer. Good luck.